How's it going guys? We'll turn right back with another video. Today I'll be returning a lamp. As you can see, I have this piece of what I think to be is beach. If you guys think it's something else, please do let me know in the comments. But uh, no further ado, let's get turned. Masks on. Goggles. Stone off the roofing gouge. So let's get turned. So guys, all I'm doing is I'm just rounding it, so we can start shaping it in a few minutes. So just loosen the two rest, move it down here, and tighten it back up. Just going to switch it around because I don't really like getting the um I don't like putting the chisel too close to my drive center just because all the parts on the lead are quite expensive and I do not want to damage any of them so just swap it around and this way here I have a lot more room to play with so um mask down Let's get back to town. My idea is to have this lamp kind of as it kind of like a taper. So what taper means is it starts big down here and it goes and tapers into a smaller end here. So I'm going to put in some designs, but my main idea is just to keep it at a bit of a taper. I just think that would look good. But um, let's get back to town. Now I'm going to be using the inch wide spindle gouge. So let's get back to work. guys as you can see i have slightly changed my idea and i'm not going to be doing the taper i decided that this is going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom now i am going to do a bit of design on the bottom but um i'm not sure what yet so i'm just going to finish making sure these are all nice and round i'll get back to these as soon as that's done
So guys, as you can see, this is what I'm going for. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to make this one a bit more pronounced, this V groove here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over, get the sandpaper and we're going to start sanding it. So I'll see you in a minute guys. So guys, for the sanding process I'll be using a P60, P120, P150 and then a sanding sponge. And I do know that this one is getting a bit rough and yeah but i will get more soon so but anyway so masks on always make sure you wear a mask when wood turning whether you're just shaping or sanding because there are dust particles and what happens is if you inhale them without a mask um it can damage your respiratory system so that's why i'll i always wear a mask so um that's just something that i would advise doing when wood turning so anyway mask on goggles Let's get her. So guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for the sanding, so I'll get back to you as soon as I'm finished all sanding. So guys, that is the lamp part done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the base. And then we'll drill the hole and start wiring and all. So, see you in a minute guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have this piece of oak on the lid. It's a flat piece. Now I did go ahead and take the corners off it. But uh, this is going to be the base for the lamp. Now we will get rid of this flat spot here. But um, anyway, let's get to on. Mask on. Make sure you're good. Goggles on. Let's get to on. that's going to be the base now i've actually decided that i like that in it so we're going to leave it in so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get my spatter i'm going to turn the two rest in and i'm going to put a bit of design in on here so see you in a minute guys so guys as you can see now i have mounted differently in the lathe i have the two rest going this way so we can put in some designs now i don't think you can see it that well but I will try my best and even if I can't get a good angle for you, I'll show you at the end. But all we're going to be doing is we're just going to be facing it off. Taking the skew chisel, I'm just going to put some v grooves in. So guys, I'll show you now. I put in some V-grooves just like that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to mount it back into the lathe and we're going to sand it. So I'll get back to you once we're ready to sand. Now guys we're ready to sand. Same as before, we're just going to use a P60 to a P150 and then a sanding sponge. So let's get sanding. Make sure everything's nice and tight. So guys, that's pretty much it for the sun. I'm just going to do a bit more and then we'll get assembling everything. So guys, that's the base. As you can see, it's just going to sit like that when it's finished. So now we're going to start applying the finish. I'll get back to you in a minute. So guys, for the finish, I'll be using Danish oil. So just a little bit onto the clock. Like so, I'll just apply it. So guys, that's the uh, Danish oil, and as you can see, I'm just going to put a bit onto that, flap it there, and just any little bits that may not have got any oil on them. And uh, and that is the base with the finish on it. Now I'm going to let it dry and then we'll apply some beeswax to it later. Very, ni very nice looking base. So guys, as you can see, I drilled a hole through. You can see just a bit of light at the end. There we go. And I drilled it through. Thank God it didn't come out the side of anything because I am not the greatest at drilling a stray hole down the middle of things. But um turned out well. Now I did forget to record it stupidly enough, but um you can see it anyway there now, so again guys just some Danish oil to uh finish the lamp. Now, as you can see, guys, it has gone off centre. That's because the hole I drilled was not the straightest. But um, it's okay because I'll just go back over it by hand and just wipe and put oil on any part that isn't finished. So, just like this. And I'll just go through and say, okay, here's a bit here. And I'll put some on it. The same with here. And just really, just the bits that were up in the air jumping around and then the ends but um we're almost ready to start assembling now so um 
I'm going to apply about three or four coats of Danish oil and then maybe a bit of beeswax and then we'll start putting everything together. So guys what I'm doing is I'm just taking a bit of beeswax I'm just rubbing it onto the lamp like so. And just doing it like that. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming back with a rag. Turn on the lathe. And just sand it like that. So you put the finish on like that. And then... And then... Yeah. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back through with a... A little stick and I'm just gonna take the main and beeswax out of the v grooves so I'll get back to you as soon as I'm ready to wire and all so see you in a minute guys so guys as you can see I'm in a defecation right now and this is the lamp finished so I put the lampshade on I put the bulb on I put some little pegs on the bottom and that is the lamp done I'll show you lighting up now so just turn it on there you go. So that was the lamp project. So thanks for watching guys. See ya.